Welcome, and thanks for considering Applied Motion products. I'm going to introduce you to the STR, the latest high-performance DSP-based step motor drive from Applied Motion. The STR drives offer high performance and incredible value. Compact and powerful, the STR drives deliver excellent smoothness and maximum dynamic torque with a wide variety of two-phase step motors. Features of the STR drives include sophisticated current control, anti-resonance for optimized torque and smoothness, microstep emulation for creating smooth motion in any application, pulse indirection or pulse-pulse operation, a built-in digital filter to increase noise immunity, and automatic idle current reduction. STR drives are accompanied by a large family of performance match step motors in NEMA 17, 23, 24, and 34 frame sizes. Selecting the right step motor for your STR drive is easy. Speed torque curves for all combinations of performance match motors and drives can be found in the STR hardware manual on our website. STR drives are also accompanied by performance match power supplies. These compact switching power supplies are available with either a 24 or 48 volt output and are ideal for use with the STR drives. For assistance in selecting the right step motor, drive, and power supply for your application, call our Applications Department at 1-800-525-1609. Now we're going to show you how to wire one up. Hi, I'm Jim Amos. I'm an Applications Engineer at Applied Motion Products. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the STR drive. So first step, we're going to wire up the DC power supply. I've got my red wire connected to my DC plus of my power supply. I'm going to wire that to my DC plus of the drive. Black wire is hooked up to my DC minus of my power supply, and that's going to go to my DC minus of my drive. The screw terminals should be crimped down tightly, and notice that I've also have my chassis ground properly installed. Next, we're going to wire the motor. I'm going to use the wiring diagram out of the manual and wire the motor up in parallel. I see that A plus is orange and black white. A minus is orange, white, and black. B plus is red and yellow, white. And lastly, B minus, red, white, and yellow. Be sure to clench down the screw terminals firmly on the motor leads. Now that we've wired up the power supply and motor, I'm going to run the self-test just to make sure the motor runs smoothly and quietly as, as expected. I've already switched switch 8 to the self-test position. We see that the motor is turning quietly and smoothly so we know we have our motor and power supply wired correctly. Be sure to turn switch 8 off before proceeding so the motor doesn't do anything unexpected next time you power it up. Next we're going to wire up the indexer. For this example we're using the Applied Motion SI100 motion controller. I'm simply going to wire the step input to the step output of the motion controller. Following the wiring color codes, I have step plus is white, step minus is black, direction plus is blue, and direction minus brown. Okay, that was easy, and thanks for joining us. For more information on the STR drives, as well as our complete line of stepper and servo products, visit us on the web at applied-motion.com or call us at 1-800-525-1609.